A Macon County man claims he was the victim of a hate crime after a trip to the upstate. Police in Seneca are investigating the case as a possible assault by mob. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from the Western News Center. What happened to him, Rex? Well, there is no doubt that Tony Moore was severely beaten in Seneca, but police want to find out exactly how things unfolded. We've been fishing all day, had a couple beers. Tony Moore had gone to Seneca to do some fishing with friends. Friday night, they stopped at Applebee's. Getting ready to leave to return home to Macon County, he went to the bathroom. His friends to the car. When he came outside, Moore says a group of 15 to 20 black men started shouting at him. Tree honky and a uh, uh, cracker and stuff like this. And I never said nothing to them, never bothered them. And I heard uh, one or two of them smart off crazy white guy or, or uh, dumb white guy or something like that. He says the next thing he knows is one of the men starts hitting him. I reached to grab for him to catch him to see, make sure he was the one that got me and then everything went black. According to his friends, someone took a stun gun to his head. And I can remember feet and pants, legs, and I was trying to get a hold of something, just try to get back. I, I could tell I was on the ground. He says the attack was racially motivated. I mean, every remark towards me was because I was white. And yet it was a black man who came to his rescue protecting his head. I mean, they, I mean, it shows you it wasn't all of them. It was just... Just that group. Had he not been there and kept his buddies from killing him, I mean, he'd probably be dead. Moore's friend, Sean Gillum, says he'd like to see arrests made. As quickly as possible. I mean, like I said, before it happens to somebody else. And Seneca police are looking into any provocation that might have happened. They say they'll be looking into any surveillance video from Applebee's to determine if assault, if assault and battery by mob charges are warranted. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge News.